In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to test a battery using a handheld battery tester. Sometimes these are called conductance or impedance testers. This, this is one of the testers. This is just one of the several types that are out there in this case. It's a small handheld computer that basically calculates or estimates the condition of the battery. This is the least accurate way to test a battery, but probably the most convenient. A lot of auto parts stores and so forth use these testers just because they're easy to use. They give you immediate results and you don't really have to know what you're doing to run it. But here's how you use the tester. Of course, you've got your positive and negative leads. Connect to the battery. And when they're connected, you should get the screen should come up. On this particular tester, it says, is the battery in the vehicle or out of the vehicle? And so we'll push the down arrow to select that it's in the vehicle, hit go. Now it says choose the battery type, conventional or AGM. Most batteries are conventional. AGM is absorbed, absorbed glass mat, which means that it's a recombination battery or a sealed battery. So you just have to determine what type of battery we have. This is a conventional battery, so I'll hit the up arrow. It gives us an open circuit voltage reading. One of the advantages of this tester over the other load tests that we do is this tester can test a dead battery. So even if the voltage is very low, 6 volts, this tester can still run the test. You can't do that with, a, with another test because we have to have a charged battery first. So when a car comes in with a dead battery and you want a quick test, this is probably the way to go. So we'll hit go. It says select unit, so we're thinking of a looking at a battery rating here. Typically on a car battery, we go with the cold cranking amps. So we'll come over to the car battery. If we zoom in and get rid of the glare. Zoom in right here, it says that it's got 450 cold cranking amps. So we come back to the tester here. Hit accept, and it's currently at 510 cold cranking amps because that's what it was probably for the last test. So we'll scroll down here to 450 and hit go. This is where the it's not actually, it says the load is on, but it's not actually really performing a load test. It's just running an algorithm, performing some measurements on the battery, and trying to estimate the condition of the battery. And here, some of these testers will ask if we want to proceed with the starting and charging test, and no, we don't want to do that here. And all these testers usually output the results in one of three ways. It'll say the battery is good, the battery is bad, or the battery needs to be charged and retested. In this case, it says that the battery is good. It estimates that the cold cranking amperage of the battery is actually at 520 amps which is higher than what it's rated for, so using that measurement, this tool says that the battery is good. Now again, these aren't always accurate, but they are convenient, so it's one way you can test a battery.